Hello everyone, this is Dr. Vash going at you with a new video. This is a Platinum Trophy review of Sonic Frontiers. I currently have 32 Platinum Trophies and I have 100% around 10 games on Xbox. We won't talk about my Xbox or let's say I'm home with PlayStation. I only Platinum games that are easy or I really enjoy, so if I don't enjoy the game, I probably won't go for Platinum. However, there are games where the game developers do not want you to get Platinum Trophies games like Monster Hunter. Why? I have 600 hours. Why do I not have Platinum in Monster Hunter World or multiplayer fighting games? Sonic Frontiers is the first open world Sonic game. I won't say open zone and this game is amazing. Solid 8 out of 10 in my opinion with the speed, game loop, and combat being especially fun for Sonic in the last few years. Us Sonic fans want to enjoy the fact that we have forgotten about Sonic Forces but this isn't a straight game review. This review is a review of trophies that are in the game. All guides to help with the trophy route is with power picks and is in the description. They are the guides that I typically use in general. So the format for this video is going to be in terms of bronze, silver, gold, and finally platinum. Bronze trophies I commonly associate with, thanks for playing the game. Trophies such as story, look in this direction, or have fun in mini games. Silver are things that take time and makes you go out of the way. Great example are collectibles. Gold are trophies that will include beating the game. The ones that make you stay up at night. The ones that break you. The ones that 0.1% of the player base have gotten. You either have to become the best at the game or become a speedrunner. The rank of the game will also be based on these properties. How will I rank Sonic Frontiers? If you are a trophy hunter, I will give this game a platinum trophy rank and I will expect this game to take around 20-25 hours to complete with no missable trophies. Story! So at the beginning of the game, Sonic and the gang is stuck into cyberspace. Sonic escapes cyberspace for, uh, some reason. Side note, I looked it up on Google and asked the Sonic Frontiers Reddit, and the most concrete answer was a side story involving Sage and Sonic near the end of the game, theories, and the game does not explain it at all. So we just mostly have our theories. I have the Reddit post up here, so if you want to take a look at it, here it is. Uh, we have to go hop into cyberspace, gather the keys to open vaults that capture the Chaos Emeralds. When we get six Chaos Emeralds, we then collect the last one, preferably on the Titan. It was, for some reason, the purple one, the yellow one is the best, I don't care what anyone says, to hopefully save our friends. After that, we take out the Titan, and you do this three times with the only variation being in the areas that you're running, uh, the Titan, and cyberspace levels. I really enjoy this, however, I personally hate the 2D cyberspace levels. This is not a complete explanation of the plot. I will recommend watching a story summary or a proper playthrough like mine. However, this perfectly explains how to get the story related trophies. Here's a tip. When you beat cyberspace levels, there are very few missions in the game where you need to be a speedrunner to get s rank. So I recommend that you do all objectives in one level to collect the seven Chaos Emerald Keys, collect the emeralds, then fully beat another level. If you do this properly, you will unlock the Chaos Emeralds crazy fast. So again, Collect memory tokens, beat cybers levels, collect vault keys, beat down a few guardians, fight titan, rinse, and repeat. Difficulty, doesn't matter. Play on the easiest difficulty setting or change it to the hardest difficulty setting if you want. There is no trophy associated with difficulty. You can beat the game on easy and it even makes the final fight easier. Trophies to get by breathing, Elder Coco encounter, Hermit Coco encounter, Coco leader, combo convert, speed demon, the Journey Begins, The Beginning, Ancient Defiance, Futile Resistance, Hope Across Ages, Swath of Destruction, Celestial Reign, Perfect Run, Superior Ranking, Big Encounter, Ticket to Tranquility, and Unknown Threat. Yes, that's 17 out of 14 trophies that you will most likely get on accident. That is around what I expect for most games, but luckily, 
Fishing exists to make even more trophies even easier. Here are all the collectibles that are associated with trophies. Purple coins, gain as many as possible and look out of your way for them. Strength tokens, defense tokens, cocos, all skills, cyberspace unlocking, not playing them. Most of which can be collected via fishing and fishing is absolutely busted. The three trophies you cannot get out of fishing is beating every enemy type in the game, normal and guardians. So destroy everything you don't recognize. Lastly, doing map challenges. All of them are easy and typically take around 15 seconds to do for that sweet dopamine release for having the map extend slightly. Oh, it feels good when the map comes together. The side stories I'll put as a collectible because doing these are really easy if you complete the island. You will need to have enough memory tokens to complete the side stories, however. They don't have much to do with the plot besides speculation and if you're trying to get trophies, you don't have to listen. So in some circumstances, have extra memory tokens because some of these side quests are in difficult spots. Collect enough purple coins, I'm sure you can walk through any boss in the entire game. Doesn't even take very long as you can gather everything with big. Oh, hey, Sonic. So, uh, this is a breeze. Just play the game, collect coins, participate in star showers to collect more coins, and you'll have all of the collectibles. Then be every new guardian you have spotted. They're, if they look different, like a different color, or a different size or shape, just kill them. You can always come back and kill them when you're at 99 strength if you're having struggles. Trophies of note you will have to go out of your way for are insert island here expert this just means just view all side stories which leads to expert historian unrivaled aptitude unlock all skills for fishing threats identified destroy all guardians chronos island memories unlock all gates as you do not have to play them repeat you do not have to play the gates Story spoilers ahead, so skip to the timestamp above to skip them. Alright, so after you fight the last titan, you and Sage go and fight the end. Or you do a quick time event and skip an overly difficult fight on the non-hard difficulties. On the hard difficulty, when I did the boss fight, I failed at the very end three times and had zero checkpoints, so I had to restart from the very beginning. Why is this so hard? Why are there no checkpoints? And why do I suck at bullet hells? After defeating the boss, you get a sweet, sweet trophy for defeating the end. Afterwards, you get a secret ending on hard mode, but if not, it doesn't matter for trophy circumstances. So here are those trophies. So I'm showing on screen the most annoying trophy I had to get in a while. As you see, you can only level up speed and rings one level at a time out of 99 levels. This is not the same for strength and defense, so it makes you wonder why they both weren't programmed like this. There are other difficult trophies such as getting combo cracker or 50 phantom rushes. There are almost no way you can get this organically in game, but there is a workaround. In Ares Island, beat down the single spring enemy until you get phantom rush and spam it for around 10 minutes like this on screen. And boom, it's done. Am I still upgrading myself for max speed? Who greenlit this? If you do this trophy, you'll get combo master trophy, so don't worry about that one until you get to this point. The last hard trophy I would say is you're getting all fish in one spot. However, this can be easily cheesed by going to the first area of the game and fishing for a single purple coin and fish for like 30 minutes. The game doesn't really give you the same fish twice, so as long as you have enough coins, you can get the 30 to 40 fish required to get this trophy. I had so many purple coins, I did this in the final area, and I had 100 or two purple coins to spare. Oh, okay. Is it worth getting platinum in Sonic Frontiers? Yes, the hardest trophy in the game, if you play it as directed, is leveling up Sonic to level 99 in speed and rings. And as Platinum Trophy Master, we have done way worse for Platinum. If you're starting out gathering Platinum trophies, just know that this game is beginner friendly, 
to not only Sonic, but to trophy collecting as a whole. The game is a pinnacle Sonic game, and in terms of trophy collecting, this game is easy and fun. Play the game normally, then after the game, fish for like 30 minutes and you're all set. Collect any purple coins you see. What you can completely ignore as this is not trophy related at all and tips to gather annoying trophies. Collect purple coins and this cannot be stated enough. Do not complete every cyberspace level in the game, just do all objectives in each level and do get four keys and three extra keys for completing them. Do not waste fishing tokens on the collectible to progress the game until the end. Just run around the map and gather coins, rings, memory tokens, and beat down guardians and any enemies you see. Let me know how you guys enjoyed the video. This is my first time doing a scripted video, so any recommendations, tips, suggestions will be appreciated in the comments below. If you want to see more, like and subscribe as I will continue to have more of these videos in the future. Hope you guys have a great day and um, hope to see you again. Goodbye.